What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Ultimate Star Wars reference book. Um, this came out in May 2015, so a little bit over a month ago at this point. Um, and this is actually the very first uh, all-encompassing reference book for Star Wars since the new canon was established. So just a short summary for anybody who doesn't know, the... Previously, there were tons of books that were written, lots of different side projects, tons of comic books, stuff like that about Star Wars, uh, in addition to the movies and all that. Um, when Disney acquired Lucasfilm and Star Wars last year, uh, they wanted to simplify the canon. So what they did was they basically redefined what is canon, which means what is constituted in sort of the main story of Star Wars. And that only includes the movies, um, the two TV shows, Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars Clone Wars, um, and then pretty much any official stuff going forward. So they're coming out with, I think they said, a total of 20 books um, in 2015 to work up um, to The Force Awakens later this year. Um, there are going to be all kinds of different books. Some of them are just, like, reference books. Like, I don't know if this one counts in that in that 20. Um, but there'll be some reference books, some books for young adults, kids, people like that. Some of them are, like, sticker books. So, they're not all novels. A lot of them are. Um, but just a variety of books. And this is the first one that covers all the previous content. Um, so this, is, this one is by DK. They do all of the visual dictionaries, visual guides for Star Wars. They've done those for years. Um, so if you're familiar with those, this is kind of similar, except it's a little bit different. Um, instead of just doing characters and creatures, which some of the dictionaries are just, you know, just have characters or technology in them or vehicles, this one has all of those things, all in one guide. Um, and it's kind of arranged sort of in a chronological order, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Um, but there you can sort of see the thickness of the book. It's a, I think it's about three or four pounds. It's pretty pretty heavy. Um, and you kind of, it's hard to see the scale, like how big the book is, but like here's my hand. I have a fairly large hand. I think it's like 10 by 12. Um, so it's pretty big. So let me go ahead and open this up. And it comes with a, uh, a dust jacket here which is just exactly like the, uh, the actual uh, hardback cover. It is hardback. Um, so here, I've got a dust jacket uh, with some, let me just get this over here. Dust jacket with some info there. So kind of cool artwork there. I can get more of a top-down view here. So, you do have a table of contents. It starts out with characters and creatures, it moves on to locations, um, then technology and vehicles. And like I said, uh, it has a, a foreword written by Anthony Daniels, who plays C3PO. So, um, I'll, I won't show you every page, of course, but each section starts with one of these, which is a timeline. So it starts at episode one, and this is the character timeline. There's one for vehicles, and there's one for technology. And basically, it kind of highlights some of the most important things in little bubbles, and they go along uh, throughout the chronology of the series. And it's set, these are how uh, these bubbles are separated. So the gray ones are episodes one and two, the uh, gold ones are episodes two, Clone Wars, and episode three, and the like teal ones are episode three, uh, Rebels, and the original trilogy. So as you can see, it goes like that, and then it goes over to the next page. There's some stuff from episode one, then episode two, and then it actually keeps going across multiple pages. So kind of wraps around. It, it gives you a little sort of text detail of what the uh, what the little screenshot is. And this goes on for pages. It's really cool. It's really fun to sort of read through it. Then they have these kind of two-page spreads for the major characters. 
So um, it'll usually have, you know, like a big photo of the character. Then some explanation of uh, what happened to them, how they're involved with the story. And then they all have this really cool section here which is a timeline for that particular character. So it shows you basically what they were doing during each of those three phases. Um, so the, you know, the prequel phase um, before Order 66 and then everything after that. And it kind of shows the, you know, the full key points of, of that character's life um, in, in the context of the story. So again, another two page spread. Um, his timeline is over here on that side, and it goes down chronologically, again color-coded. It's nice that they use the same color coding um, throughout this. So, like I said, I won't show you all the pages, but some of them have those two-page spreads. Um, and then occasionally as you're flipping through the book, you'll see these, what are called key events. Um, and this is a, these are two-page spreads which basically sort of describe um, a very important event that happens. And these are kind of found randomly throughout the book, but they're also in the chronological order of the timeline from episode one through the end of the series. So these really are kind of um, autonomous. These kind of tie all, through all the different uh, sections um, in that they're sort of one of them every so many pages, kind of peppered throughout. So yeah, in addition to some characters getting their own two-page spread, a lot of the minor characters are in here too. So it's not just like the major people. Um, all the minor characters just have usually a paragraph or two about them. Um, and then which movies they appear in, their species, homeworld, and who they're affiliated with. So that's what a lot of the side characters, uh, that's how they're listed. So, um, yeah, it's great for looking up even, like, uh, weird characters that, you know, maybe you never even um, thought about or, you know, knew any details about. Like this guy, Clegg Holdfast. I, you know, I didn't really know who that was, but there you go. The two pot, the two pod race announcers from episode one. I didn't know that they were Troigs. Um, I didn't know where they were from. I, didn't even, I don't think I even knew their names. So yeah, it's just lots of cool stuff. And that's what makes this book really good to just flip through, is that since it's all arranged uh, <clears throat> chronologically, you can actually just pick it up. Um, if, you're, you know, if you've been thinking about one of, one of the particular movies lately, you can just flip through it, you know, uh, see, you know, just read about some minor characters from that time period, all that good stuff. Uh, so not only does it cover uh, the movies, of course, which are sort of the primary part uh, of the canon, but it also covers Clone Wars. So this is a two-page on Ahsoka. Um, and not only that, but it also covers Star Wars Rebels as well. And I think that there's a, if I'm not mistaken, there's a page on... Well, here's some Star Wars Rebels stuff right here. So Ezra gets his own two-page spread, uh, that kind of thing. So they do have Rebel stuff in here. There's quite a bit of it, actually. Um, not, I don't know, I'll, I have the uh, visual guide for Rebels, the first one, also, so I'll have to look through that. But this seems to follow Rebels kind of maybe about, uh, I think about halfway, uh, no, this maybe goes through all the way, uh, to the end of the first season, I think. I, like I said, I haven't read through, uh, all these exactly, but they seem to mention some things, uh, that happen later, a little bit later on in the series, so. Um, and if any of the regular characters appear in Rebels, then it lists that in their appearances section as well. So some behind the scenes shots. Um, the locations work the same way as the creatures and characters. So some of the more important ones get two page spreads uh, with lots of extra info. There's still those key event things. Um, you know, some of the smaller, less prominent places get, you know, a couple paragraphs and they kind of fit a few of them on, on the same page. Um, 
So locations is a significant portion. Let me flip through that. Technology is also a cool part. You get a lot of close-ups, like this close-up of Anakin's original lightsaber right there. Uh, and it covers all kinds of different weapons. Uh, Yoda's lightsaber, um, the T-Series tactical droid, and it gives you like specs and stuff like that. And then at the end we have vehicles. Again, more important ones get big two-page spreads. These get um, a couple paragraphs and specs, and they go sort of in chronological order from episode one through um, through to episode six. So, and then the uh, piece de resistance here is this really awesome index. So here is the index, and as you can see, it's very very detailed. Um, it's most people are listed, I think, by their last names, primarily. Um, but you can look up anything. You can look up people, um, pieces of technology, things like that, um, and those are all explicitly listed there. Um, like the Death Star Two. There's a bunch of stuff about that. The construction of it. Darth Vader in the Death Star Two. Uh, the Emperor's throne room in the Death Star Two. Um, Palpatine, Princess Leia, the super laser on the Death Star in the technology section. So, I mean, the index is really, um, really useful, especially if you're watching the movie and you're like, man, I want to look up something about them. Um, it makes it really easy. And, yeah, those are all the authors right there. And, oops, that's what the back of it looks like. So kind of kind of has this like silver uh, silver aesthetic goes through it. So yeah, that is uh, Ultimate Star Wars the book. It's a really great reference book. I really enjoy it, and because of the way it's laid out, it's really awesome for just kind of thumbing through it and uh, and seeing sort of you know. Um, just just picking it up and going to a particular section and learning all kinds of new stuff. Yes, you can just go on Wikipedia um, or Wikipedia and look a lot of this stuff up, but um, I think it really helps the way that it's editorialized and laid out. Um, it makes it very easy to kind of thumb through things that you wouldn't otherwise see. Um, and it makes it a, a book that you can kind of just pick up Whenever I pick this book up, I read it for like an hour straight. <laughs> I, I just lose track of time reading about all kinds of different stuff. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. It's really cool. And you can be ensured that everything in here is uh, meets the criteria for the new Star Wars canon. So if you want to get caught up uh, before Episode 7 this December, this is also a good way to do that. So just wanted to kind of show you what's in the book um, just because I never really, um, I wasn't really able to find a pre-existing video. There's the spine in case you're curious. And this is kind of raised right here. Anyway, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you because I couldn't really find anybody really flipping through it too extensively. So um, thanks everybody for watching this. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like these kinds of videos, if you like Star Wars videos, unboxing videos, movie, video game, anime stuff, all that geeky kind of stuff, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.